Have you ever felt your body going numb after using your gadget for a long time? It must be because of your poor and bad posture. How are you able to identify the proper posture to avoid strain or any signs of discomfort? Hello, and this is group 4. Back at it again with another important information. Come with us, and together, let's take a closer look at how ergonomics and computer exercises can help improve our health and productivity in the workplace. Oops, 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 oops. But wait, what first is ergonomics? Ergonomics. Ergonomics is a field of study that attempts to reduce strain, fatigue, and injuries by improving product design and workspace arrangement. Moving on, let's now head on to the different kinds of computer exercises. An ache on your shoulder for sitting on the computer for too long? Oh no, you might have a tumor. Kidding! Don't pay attention to fake news. Instead, here are two prepared exercises that you have to do to prevent you from worrying about them. Exercise number one, Ching Tao. Slide your chin inward without bending your neck up or down. This is easiest to practice initially against a wall. Tuck chin in, attempting to touch the back of the neck to the wall, while also maintaining head contact. Exercise number 2. Shrug. Slowly raise your shoulders towards the ears and hold for a few seconds. Gradually bring shoulders down and relax. Moving on, due to the computer, people tend to sit looking like a shrimp. Are you one of these? Don't worry. These back exercises will keep you straight. Shrimp posture, no more. Exercise number three, shoulder squeeze. Raise your arms in front of the body with elbows bent and thumbs up. Pull elbows back, squeezing shoulder blades together. Hold elbows a few seconds, then release. Exercise number four, wall angels. Stand with your hips back, shoulder blades against the wall in an extended position, then retract your shoulders, placing the arms in a W position with the back of the hands on the wall. Next, slide the arms upwards, knuckles in contact with the wall. And lastly, release and repeat for 12 to 15 repetitions. Our neck, shoulder, and back aren't the only ones affected by our computer usage, but also our arms that are most used when using it. No doubt we will also experience pain there. Well, these two arm exercises will show you how to properly take care of your arm. Exercise number 5, Arm Relaxation Drop your arms and hands to your sides. Gently shake them for a few seconds. Exercise number 6, Arm Rotation. Raise your arms in front of your body. Rotate arms so palms face up. Then rotate so backs of the hands face each other. Click, click, click. Hands will feel the ache. Move, move, move. Wrist will start to throb. You wouldn't be able to control the computer the same with your hands and wrists not functioning properly. Here are... Exercise number 7, Wrist Flex. With your elbows on the desk, gently use your left hand to bend your right hand back toward the forearm. Hold for a few seconds and relax. Repeat on the other side. Exercise number 8, Finger Fun. Spread your fingers as far apart as possible. Hold, then clench fist, then release. Now that we're finished on hands and wrists, how about their opposite, the feet? Well, sitting for a bit too long on your computer could cause you to feel that sharp pain on your feet if you don't perform. Exercise number 9, Foot Rotation. Circle foot slowly from the ankle and then reverse.
Whoops, it doesn't end here. These exercises wouldn't be complete when we left our eyes out. Now, this really simple last exercise would help you as much as the others. Exercise number 10. Look away. Exercise your eyes by periodically looking away from your computer to focus on distant objects. See? A really simple one. However simple it is, this will help you prevent eye strains and headaches. Remember everyone that maintaining correct ergonomics and include regular exercises in your daily routine can significantly increase your well-being and productivity. You'll quickly notice the advantages if you make it a habit. Your work life is in your hands and with the right knowledge and practices, you can make it better.